Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.2 from the chapter number 4. Okay, the problem is obtain the simplified boolean expressions for the outputs f and g in terms of input variables in the circuit of figure p 4.2 okay this is the figure p 4.2 okay so this is the given figure and we have to find out the simplified boolean expressions for this outputs f and g the inputs are a b c and d so we will write here in this figure itself to easily understand what will be the output f and g after this inverter we will get here a bar here b c and get so we will get here b c so b c is supplied here so in this line we have b c Similarly, in this line, we have A bar because after this inverter, we have A bar. So, A bar here. A bar is the input here. And this is the D input. Okay, D and this is NAND gate. So, we'll get here. A bar is input here. Okay, at this line. And D is here. So, A bar D whole bar. A bar D whole bar. So, this A bar D whole bar is applied here. A bar D whole bar. Okay. And a bar is here. So after this NAND gate, what we'll get? A bar into a bar d whole bar. And we have another complement here because it is a NAND gate. So we'll get here a bar into a bar d whole bar and whole complement. And after this OR gate, we'll get a bar plus BC. Okay, so at this point, we'll get a bar plus BC. And in this line, we have a bar d. Whole bar. Now let us write down f equal to we have to multiply these two. Okay. A bar dot a bar d whole bar whole complement into this one a bar plus b c. A bar plus b c. Now we have to simplify this because we in the problem we are we have to find out the simplified Boolean expression. So this is the Boolean expression for f output f and we have to now simplify it. A bar and this is a b whole bar in the form of a b whole bar so we can write it as a bar plus b bar okay so we'll write a bar bar will be a okay two time complement it will be a and plus d bar and we have whole complement here then we have a bar plus b c so from this multiplication from this inside of this curly bracket we can see that it is the form of a into b whole bar so we can write it as a bar plus b bar so we can write it as a bar bar that will be a plus a plus d bar whole bar okay then this is this remains the same a bar plus b c next from here we can see that it is a plus b whole bar okay so we'll break this one a bar plus that means a plus b whole bar will be a bar dot b bar b bar bar will be d only so a bar okay so from here we have a bar plus b c okay so if we multiply these two terms we'll get a into a bar will be zero then we have a into b c a b c plus from here a bar into a bar will be a bar on itself a bar d plus a bar b c d a bar b c d so from here we can see that we can take a bar d common from these two terms we'll get a b c all into plus sorry a b c plus a bar d all into 1 plus b c okay 1 plus b c will be 1 so we can write it as a b c plus a bar d okay so this is the simplified expression so we cannot further simplify it so this is the simplified expression for the output f now we will find out the output capital C. So capital G is the multiplication first of these two and then complement. Okay. So multiply these two. A bar plus B C whole into A bar D whole bar. Then after that we have complement here. Okay. So we will put a complement here. So this is the form of A into B whole bar. So we can write it as A bar plus B bar. So A bar plus B C whole bar plus so it is already complement this complement will cancel out a bar d a bar d plus so this a bar plus bc whole bar we can write it as it is a plus b whole bar using de morgan's theorem we can write it as a bar dot b bar 
so you can write it as a bar bar will be a and bc whole bar bc whole bar so this is the term then next we can simplify it as a bar d plus so this is a b whole bar we can using the morgan's theorem we can again simplify it as a whole into so you can write it as a plus a bar plus b bar so b bar plus c bar and from here we, what we can do we can expand this a bar d plus a b bar plus a c bar so this is the simplified boolean expression for capital z so this is the solution of the problem number 4.2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you